Wellington, same age, same weight. Wallace is slightly shorter. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first super fight of the evening. It is scheduled for three two-minute rounds of kickboxing action. It has a 70 kg weight limit. It is brought to you by Cogent. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white and gold trim. Representing the lion pit. He has seven professional fights with four wins, three losses. Introducing Stacy Takuru. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner enters the ring wearing black trunks with red, white, and blue trim. Representing Assassin's Muay Thai, he has three professional fights with three wins. Introducing Swain Wallace. <laughs> fighters to the center ring, please, for Lady Smack's instructions. Victoria Nansen back boys, and control in center ring. Abide by my instructions at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Keep it clean, keep it mana. Touch club. Kickboxing royalty right there. Stacey Takuru looking to be the first man to inflict a defeat on Swade Wallace. Wallace, three and oh. Fight already. Time wrong, fight. And we Fuck are underway. Wallace is Fuck a southpaw. And uh, Takuru will have to solve that, going to the inside fight. Good lead handwork from both these fighters, Shane. Yeah, so it's a similar matchup to last time, so um, Stacy is going to try and look to step to his left to line up his right hand, make it a little bit shorter. Nice work off the lead hand from Swade Wallace. Cross check. Back in the knee across the body. Inside thigh is always there, and you can see there Tsukuru. As soon as he got Wallace drifting to his left into the right kick, he threw it out high. Good options though from these boys, pretty technical for so early in their careers. Yep, I agree, especially Wallace, only three fights, he's showing some good composure, setting things up, beautiful low forward or one two. Uh, his option taking is good. He's still standing a little bit in line. I'd like to see him just uh, drift rather than just be a linear fighter. He needs to get his foot on the outside. So, uh, it's uh, Wallace, we want him to step out to his right. Or when he's forced to go left as he is now to take a wide circle so he circles outside of the tower, not directly into the tower of the conventional fighter's long right hand or the right kick. Nice little counter, took that uh, shot on the glove and Wallace came back with a straight left of his own. Sway Wallace is the man on the left of your screen. In the red and black, Stacey Tukuru. The man in the gold and black, and he currently is controlling center ring. Very evenly matched fight. The Puru's just experienced at the moment. He's Whoa! Just beautiful work. Caught the Kuru coming in, and he's hurt. He is badly hurt at this point. Victoria Nansen taking a very close look at him. Swade Wallace has got some pop there. I was just about to say to Puru, starting to track him down. Now uh, the bell could not have come for a better time, and there you see it, Shane. If you run short into the left hand of a southpaw, you take that short option, you can get into deep trouble. Yeah, definitely, or it might be that he has dreadlocks, and just like Zeke, he has some power when he walks in, but no, just like you said, Mike, the technical aspect, look, he's coming in, circles off to his right, and then straight into the street. And that was beautiful, just the way he rolled the right hand over, the timing really well done. Let's have a listen into the corner, see if Tepuru can recover. Look to move in, board. Use your team. I need my pro. We're, we're too much kickboxing. I need my pro, okay? Rotate your defense. Rotate your defense. You're sitting in your kind of sitting, letting him line up there, up there, his straight left. All right? It's all good, bro. Hey, we're here to have fun, baby. We're here to have fun. Let's go. Oh, pretty relaxed in the corner. Yeah, some interesting uh, little tidbits I picked up there. He wants to probe more and roll his defense. I assume it means maybe like use his lead hand a little bit more than you were commenting on early in the fight. They're doing so well. Uh, I think also he's probably just wanted to use the uh, left leg teep as well. 
He's trying to get out on the outside now, and you can see immediately putting him onto that right leg. A lot more urgency from Tipuru. But uh, Wallace, he's got some power and he landed the left handy, and there was a nice right hand from Tipuru. And a head kick. Wallace, Wallace is has, strong, though. Wallace has started stepping out to his right to not get caught with the right hand strikes of Wallace of Tipuru. He's looking for the long right uppercut now that Tipuru is slipping the left hand. You notice though Wallace there, you see he's drifting in a straight line. And uh, he is there for the right hand if Tipuru chooses to throw it, but he's got to beat him to the punch. Just a little tentative, he's weary of the power at this point. And you see he's allowing Wallace to lead off there and land that straight left hand. And uh, that is the Southpaw riddle. Sometimes it's just not being familiar with it. Yeah, it is a game of uh, repetitions. It's the art of 10,000. So you, usually you are like, orthodox versus orthodox. There's not that many left-handed people in the world. And even less of them decide to fight. Well, again, he's just, he's got a very accurate left hand. And every now and then he just turns the right hand over as well. And uh, that also brings him back onto the straight left. But uh, Tepuru, he started off well. He started off with his lead hand, but he's gone back into his shell. And uh, very tentative again, and that's just power. And as Mike Tyson once said, everybody's got a game plan until they get punched in the mouth. And that was a really sneaky shot that dropped him. It was one of those ones where he didn't see it coming at all. That's why you could see his, his face, his expression up when he was on the ground. That's to, really got to play on your mind. Tepuru needs to use his lead hand. Oh, and then he just got caught again. And that was almost a look away shot from Three, Swade Wallace. Four, five, six, seven, Tukuru. eight, three, goes up. Five. I'd say that had to look really close. Well, dropped on the belt on both occasions. And Tukuru, I would be having a really close look in the corner if I was the corner. Let's have a listen in to Victoria Nansen. Come on, bro, I need you, I need that, I need that breath, bro. I need you to fight back. Come on, In, in. Hold. Slow, blow up. Tuck it in. Hold. Well, there we go. Uh, and that was actually a step away right hand. You see him step away. And it's just the right hand, and it was just a jab on the button, off balance. Well, you have to say that Wallace has a little bit of mustard in his shots because uh, he was, he threw that going backwards. Even though he rolled the knuckle, Shane, he looks to have a bit of uh, pop in his shots. It's Wade Wallace, the south wall on the right of your screen. Stacey Tukuru. On the left of your screen from the Lion Pit. He's showing Technic a lot of heart to Kuru. Technically a lovely fighter, but uh, he's been hurt and he's gone into his shell. Wallace now starting to really come on. Little counter left hook there from Tikuru. And he just needs to keep a tight guard because Wallace will open up. At the moment, Wallace is... He's high on confidence. He knows he can hurt him. But he's a little wild. There will be openings there. And you can see it there. But because the Kuru is tentative, he's not sitting his weight on his shot. He's not really setting his feet. And to be honest, Shane, he's also fighting fire with fire. He's trying to punch with a puncher. Yeah, he should be going back to his teeps, like his corner was saying. Use some range. Keep him away, body shots. Landed a right hand there to Kuru. If you are, uh, for those watching at home, if you notice both fighters' front feet, if you watch their front feet, usually the winner, the power puncher, is going to be the one who's more outside. So for Wallace, it's going to be to his right, and for Tekuru in the blue gloves, it's going to be to his left. He wants to be outside Wallace's foot. But if you look closer, you can see that Wallace is always beating him with that lead foot. Now Tekuru, he's just started to land some quite nice shots down to the body, faking low and then coming over top. He's looking down low and looking for that right hand. He just saw a miss there, but... Uh, Another solid left, Wallace. Wallace started to read it. Now he's coming out strong, looking for the finishing shot. Takuru says, no, I'm not going down. He's so much harder than this boy. Well, he's got to be looking closely, Victoria and Anson. Takuru 
There's chances in this fight slipping away. Five seconds. He will do well to see the bell. A lot of heart, a lot of Brave heart, performance please. from Stacey Takuru. Dominant from Swade Wallace. He will take his tally to four and O. Oh. And one thing we know about him is he's a man who can punch. And uh, Shane, once again, just the difficulty of solving the unorthodox shots from a southpaw came through there. Particularly one who has less experience, less technical, but he had power. Yeah, Wallace, yeah, he's only 3-0, 4-0, but he showed just a, an, enough good techniques. That straight left when he caught him coming in, the right hook. Both times his foot was on the outside. He's been a good conventional southpaw tactics. Um, unfortunately for Takuru, he couldn't solve that problem tonight. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. For your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Swade Wallace! Oh, he certainly looks happy, Swade Wallace. Two eight counts on the bell at the end of the first and second round. Stacey Chikuru was brave, he did well to last.